Thanks a lot. Newport News Police are off Fitzhugh Drive near Warwick Boulevard, and you're getting a look at the map here. Chopper 10 flew over the scene where someone found a body in a lake. Senior Size Jason Marks is there now gathering the facts for us. He joins us on the phone. Jason, what can you tell us at this point? Well, Nicole, I can tell you we're in the Wenwood neighborhood off of Warwick Boulevard. You mentioned Fitzhugh Drive. Now, just a short time ago, we talked with two men who were actually driving over the small bridge uh, near uh, Fitzhugh. Now, as they were driving over the bridge, they noticed something in the water, and they thought maybe it was a dummy. So they decided to stop. When they stopped, they realized that it was no dummy. It was actually a man's body, and they say it appears that that man had been there for a long time. So that's when they called police. Now, we do have... Uh, officers out here on the scene treating this as a death investigation. They're going to go to missing person reports. Right now, no one from the neighborhood has been reported missing, but they're going to try to figure out exactly what happened here in this case. You're looking at video from Chopper 10 shot earlier. Now, uh, here's what we know uh, from police. They're saying that the body will obviously be taken for an autopsy. Uh, they're going to try to figure out exactly what happened here. Now, neighbors tell us that uh, it's a small lake right behind this neighborhood, it's not a place where you would go swimming or you'd go fishing. So very mysterious out here. We got on the scene probably about 15 minutes ago. We're going to continue to gather information. We'll have the latest for you tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. But for right now, a death investigation, a man, uh, man's body was found in the water. Police right now working to determine how he died and who he is. Of course, we'll continue to gather the information. We'll have the latest for you coming up tonight at 6. That's the latest from Newport News. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Thanks, Jason.